Now this is the start of the Hopewell, or I'm sorry, the Adena tape. The Adena were the predecessors of the Hopewell. This just shows one of their sites uh, on the river here. Um, you can see the how they started living. It's like a village here. They started building mounds uh, a lot earlier, but the Adena started, um, you know, the classic earthworks type things, but they wouldn't be as elaborate as what the Hopewell is. Now these are some uh, Adena type pipes here and the, this is from the Moundsville Museum just uh, I'm trying to, the purpose of this video is just to uh, familiarize you with uh, some of the, um, the the Adena culture which was the pre like I said the predecessor that, that's a hoe there to show the uh, tools they used you know for hunting fishing type thing and uh, they, they uh, the sacredness of life you know all you know, the craftsmanship, everything went into this, and um, here we have a, a necklace here. Just uh, different types of uh, amulets. This, once again, the Adena. They, they were. This was probably somewhere around 700 BC, uh, around there. The Adena came around 200. Or the, that was the Adena. The Hopewell came, here, here's a, a mask here that was, uh, you see this, this same mask at a lot of sites, it was actually a uh, put over the face of the deceased, some kind of a cult uh, thing. Now we're seeing the uh, Adena Mound here, the, the Great Mound here at uh, Grave Creek, here's a ceremony you can see. This is, uh, you know, a, I see this. These are just scenes from the diorama there of the uh, building of the Great Grave Creek Mound, which isn't a Dina Mound. It's not Hopewell. But once again, the uh, Hopewell started building a lot of more elaborate type earthworks with geometric designs. I think now that Yadina also had these as well, but they just weren't as elaborate. So that's why the Yadina are seen as the predecessors to the Hopewell. And then there be it, there appeared to be a lot of competition between these sites. Like, more, uh, they started out simple, and then they just went more and more elaborate. And it was tied up with the uh, worship, nature worship, and uh, like I said, the, their religion was probably it meant everything to them. You know, uh, life was sacred, and um, I mean, it it went into their very philosophy down to their pottery, to to everything they did. To the animals, you know, they there was no difference really between um, animals and man. I mean, they were just both seen as occupying a space here on the planet, and uh, they were supposed to, you know, share. Um, and when they took a life, even you see a lot of these um, uh, hunters, like with like uh, wearing wolf masks and stuff while they're hunting, and that's actually not. Not camouflage, but it's actually telling the uh, this you know uh, proclaiming to the spirit. I, you know, I'm a friend of, of you know. I, I'm taking this meat because I need it, not not because you know I'm trying to hide and I'm trying to kill you or anything. It's more like it's a it's a prayer. Now here we just have the the nomadic showing the nomadic lifestyles, the Adena and and, and the Hopewell. A lot of these sites, that, like I said, uh, they abandoned them and then they just moved on when the. Uh, uh, when the site became um, no longer, you know, viable due to exhaustion of some of the resources or whatever. Now we're getting into some of the burials. This is a cremation burial. This was a, an Adena burial. Here you have just a regular a bundle type burial. These are the different type burials. This is a, a another type of Adena burial here, just flat out. And like I said, these bodies were actually used in the ceremonies. Here's a, like a log tomb burial. Uh, these were these bodies were used in the uh, ceremony. They uh, they were actually a part of life. Here's like a more an elaborate type log tomb. These were found at the bottom of the mounds. Now these are the creatures that shared the planet with with the Adena and who they would have worshipped and you know felt a kinship with with nature. Like I said, the Adena uh, mounds were uh, well. You'll see later. We have more video here. You'll see the the bottom uh, there there was uh, constructed at the bottom level and then you know they would uh, burn the ha burn the charnel house or the ceremonial house down and they would build a mound over it and then it just like was constructed in layers these 
elaborate mounds were not built all at one time. Usually they were built over a period of centuries, you know, multi-use by different uh, cultures. And like I said, there was competition between uh, uh, the, the different sites, uh, and archaeologists have confirmed this. I'm just showing some of the sacred, um, you know, uh, plants and animals. Here we have some uh, uh, writings here. Now this is authentic, uh, some type of a tablet. They don't know whether this was like a seal. Now this this here is a controversial. It was supposedly found in the Grave Creek Mound, but they think it could be a forgery due to the the symbols are more angular, whereas the Indians like to use the rounder type thing. Here's, this is the type of Adena village, type Hopewell village that would have been near where the ceremonial sites are. Now we're getting into the atlatl demonstration here. The uh, Adena used the atlatl. They did not have the bow and arrow at this time. So uh, we just see here. And those are banner stones there. The earlier ones were some banner stones too. Those are like weights for to, to give the uh, spear throwing some some weight so it, it you know can penetrate better it goes farther with these uh, weights added on to the uh, this exhibit was at the Columbus uh, Ohio Historical Center for years here it's just an atlatl guy uh, eventually he kind of corroded away but this video is still in in good condition here uh, we're getting into the Adena culture here again here has some blades here and uh, these are Adena type blades. Um, Adena flint tools here. Just shows uh, how they were used. This is from the collection at the Ohio Historical Society. These are archaeological exhibits here. Showing the pottery. Now at this time they did not have the uh, extensive corn agriculture that they would have. Here we have a mound here. This is an Adena mound here. I believe it's one of the, the Crescent Mound, and uh, yeah, there it is. And this this shows you how the, you know, the evolution of the mound building cultures. You can see the houses, and then how the mounds were built built up. You know, the houses were burned down, and then after each generation or ceremony, you know, uh, they just add more. It's a house would move more burials, and they just, you know, you can see the progression how these mounds just kept building on on. Some of these could have been intrusive cultures too as well, just cultures that had nothing to do with the original culture but just might have uh, buried, have burials in some of these. Uh, but you know that's for the archaeologists to determine whether they were actually part of that culture or uh, an, an intrusive culture. So it's hard to draw a line there sometimes. It just shows the, the floor bottom on some of these. The uh, mounds always had a really strong floor bottom. Uh, and then there was like a different type of cremations or burials there on the floor. And the house was burned down then when the uh, ceremony was completed or the season was completed. And then um, the, you know, the mound building started. This is an Adena house, a reconstruction of what an Adena house might have looked like or a ceremonial home. This was uh, on exhibit here at the Columbus. This shows the uh, Adena how they uh, elongated the skulls. Uh, you can see the, the, deform the deforming characteristics uh, so that you know uh, to make the person more uh, you know attractive or spirit to the spirit world whatever you know yeah, this is the Mount Horeb. This was a uh, Adena earthwork here. You can see. Note how they're they're a lot simpler. They're they're not as don't cover as many miles and things. There, there's a mound from Marietta. That that's an Adena mound there. These these are Adena mounds here along the Ohio River. Just showing. Like I said, they're not they're nowhere near as elaborate as as uh, some of these 
the Hopewell mounds would get. Now here we have the famous Adena pipe. Now this uh, is going to be the culmination of this uh, Adena tape here. And this, this will show you, uh, you can just pause and read here. This um, was found in Chillicothe, Ohio, near the uh, uh, Worthington Estate. It's only about two miles from um, uh, Mound City. This was one of the greatest archaeological finds here, this imp pipe. Sorry for going out of focus there. You're trying to get it on a serpent type, uh, serpentine type design there. This is the famous imp pipe found on the Adena estate. This is an Adena artifact. And um, I'm going to take a, it has multi-colors on it too. You can see like some parts appear more red and uh, some parts are, are like green or to white. Now there's the stem. It would probably have been an elbow type pipe. An L type pipe, you know, where the stem would have fitted in the bottom there. And then you can see the top there where the, where the, uh, tobacco or the sacred herbs would have been put. Now here's the serpent mound here. This originally was thought to be an Adena uh, mound because there were a lot of uh, Adena uh, mounds in this area. However, this was later, it, well you'll see here, with the. Uh, it's now believed that it was done by the Fort Ancient people. So these just show multi-use, uh, uh, you know, multi-use uh, places. It's the new discovery here of the serpent mounds.